Hello, Michael Brown here. I want to do a demonstration today of the Leopix converter software. It's basically an online utility that allows you to upload a two-dimensional image and create a depth map, a side-by-side -side stereo pair, or even a MP4 movie that can be used to make a lenticular print. So to begin with, let's upload an image to the Leopix converter. I hit the upload button. And I'm going to grab my test file here called Chipmunk, which is a little illustration of a chipmunk standing on a rock in front of some mountains with a moon in the background and some flowers in the foreground. Uh, here it is. So you can see already it's being animated on screen. It's uh, rocking left to right, right to left. Uh, you can take this animation and make it go faster. You can make it go slower. Uh, I generally use sort of a, a setting in the middle, uh, three second animation. The animation style right now is horizontal, which is just perfect for our purposes for stereoscopy or 3D lenticular printmaking. But if you want, you have other options. You can make that animation go vertically. You can make it go in an ellipse or a circle. Those are fun if you want to put it on Instagram or onto a website. But again, we're going to stick with just the horizontal parallax. Uh, the amount of motion, it can be uh, slight or it can be great. And you have a three position that you can choose uh, for stereoscopy where you're just going to make two pictures. I think the midpoint is just fine. If you want a little more displacement, you can use more. Generally for lenticular printmaking, I keep it on the more setting so I can get greater horizontal parallax. And then finally, focal point can be close, center, or far. I keep it at center. Um, if I'm doing a stereoscopy where I'm just going to have two views, then I'll take the uh, stereo pair that this generates. I'll bring it into Stereo Photo Maker and reset my window. Uh, for lenticular, in general, that center is a good starting point. Um, if you need to adjust it later in the, the post-processing workflow, you can. But in this case, we probably won't have to worry about that at all. So we have this uh, horizontal motion. I'm going to hit the share button and that will let me uh, export a variety of things. A GIF file, MP4 movie, LIF format for the loom pad, uh, side by side to create a parallel stereo view or the depth map itself. I'm going to begin by exporting the depth map. So this dialog comes up. I can click save and it will take that and it'll take that depth map and save it to my computer. And so if I look in my downloads folder, it's already there. I will double click on that. And here it is. So a pretty good quick automated depth map. You can see the uh, background elements are black. The foreground elements are white or lighter sh shades of gray. Uh, you can see the rock the chipmunk is standing on you know, comes forward of the chipmunk itself and then the background rolls off with the mountains, the moon in the distance. Now in this case, it actually made the moon slightly forward of the background. Uh, generally, I would edit that out if it was a photograph for the purpose of an illustration like this. It might actually be fun to have that moon a little forward of the background. So that is the depth map. The stereo pair, we click this save side by side. And again, it will put that image in my download folder. It's there. It's labeled chipmunk underscore 2x1. So let's open that up. Now again, that's a parallel format. This is a little too large for me to free view, but I can come here and just minimize it. And now it's reduced it to probably, you know, the width of a stereo card. And I can, Right now, I'm just previewing it like, oh, that's great. <laughs> I can see the chipmunk with his hat on the rock, flowers in the foreground, the flowers in the field. There's some relief or uh, depth there. So it's actually a pretty nice little stereo pair for a quick automated system. Now, let's export the MP4 movie. Do that. And again, that will save that to my downloads folder. 
progress on screen says it's done. So I'm going to take that movie and we'll just open that real quick in quick time and take a look at it. So very similar to what we saw on the Leopix site. I'm going to close that, go over here to Adobe Photoshop, and now we're going to import that movie using the import video frames to layer command. So it asked me to select a movie, which I will. And this dialog box on screen will let me take a, a subset of that movie. I'm going to trim it so we only have direction, uh, or I should say movement, parallax movement in one direction. So let's take the slider here. The chipmunks move right to left. Now he's beginning to move left to right, so I'm going to put that trim point here. I'm going to go over and move that trim point here. And I'll just check it over. So he doesn't have too much motion yet. All right, something like that. I'll hit OK and that will import those frames. If I look at the layer box here, I actually have 31 frames. So we will take those and export them. File, export, layers to files. I'm going to browse on my desktop. I'm going to create a new folder called Chipmunk Frames to Interlace. There we go. And I'll come in here, run. I have that dialog box set up to save JPEGs with a compression level of 10 on a scale of 12, so it won't be you know, the best they can be, but for all practical purposes, they'll be excellent even at that 10 setting and they don't take up a lot of space. Oh, it's already done. All right, so if you want, you can now take those frames, put them in interlacing software, and uh, generate your lenticular print. So pretty quick and easy method. Hope you enjoyed this video.